Hey everybody, what is happening? What's going on? Welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, today is the very first video where I'm not going to be outside shooting. Um, I'm actually here inside editing and I wanted to show you um, what my workflow is and for this video I'm going to focus on bird photography which I think is something a lot of you guys um, do or have done planning on doing whatever it is so I figured I'm just gonna dive right into it um, for that I'm actually using um, I don't even know what, what are these called honestly like so for that I'm gonna use one of those track pads but actually you don't really need one you can also just turn the flow down and do it with the track pad on your um, MacBook or laptop, whatever you have. So yeah, let's just jump into Capture One and let's see if we can do some magic together. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Capture One and if you haven't seen the video where I take the pictures of those birds, go check out the video and you can see all the behind the scenes of how I shot these photos. Um, but yeah, so I actually already went through a couple of these photos. Actually, this one's kind of cute where the birds like peeking out through the feathers. Um, but I think for demonstration purposes, I'm actually gonna go with one of those here. Um, you know what, let's just go with this one. First thing, of course, is we want to find our, the crop, right? So I think for this one, I want to have the birds right in the center. So the viewer's eye is gonna focus on that. And then at the same time, I want, I would like for the plant to kind of like just cross the image. So maybe I'm actually gonna make it even more so Right, so now we're running into a problem because I don't want to crop off the top, but maybe this might just be a nice crop to start with, okay? So um, now that I have the crop that I like, um, I actually shot, as you can see here, with kind of a high ISO, uh, 3200 is, you know, it gives you definitely a little bit of gray and we're going to take care of that later when we're going to do the denoise. And also I think for Fuji files personally, because um, this is an X3 that this is shot on, I do like the grain, um, it actually, it's not like a weird color grain for some of the Sony cameras, like this is actually pretty pleasing. So actually I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so let's just start off with some basic adjustments. Uh, the exposure is a little low, so I'm just gonna go up with that. And before I go into the curves, I'm just gonna focus on doing the sliders, getting the brightness up, a, getting the brightness up a little bit. Actually, I'm not. Actually, I'm already kind of happy with where this picture is at, just in terms of like the overall um, exposure, contrast, brightness, everything. Because um, the way I edit my photos is I do just very basic adjustments when it comes to like the global adjustments, and then going into the actual birds uh, or the subject that I want the viewer to focus on. I'm gonna go specifically into that. Um, just for personal taste, I'm gonna add a little bit of vignetting. Um, so I like that. Uh, and yeah, so now this is our background. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's just create a new layer and let's call this layer um, Bird Basic Adjustment. I'm gonna just select the brush and this is once again where my trackpad is gonna come in very handy because now I can literally just like draw on the birds. So I'm gonna put the flow down to two, select a relatively Gonna put the hardness down to zero, uh, opacity. I'm gonna do like around 40, you know, something like that. And then for all the areas where we have natural light coming, like for example, this area where it's naturally just like some light fall off, and like this area, um, also here, like maybe some details on the feathers. I'm just gonna go into the high dynamic range settings, and then I'm gonna lift the shadows up to maybe like 40 or something. Um, and then once again, just kind of very, very, very gently, just like brush over it. And you can actually, if you press M, it's gonna show you the mask. So I'm just gonna do that so that I can just really, really gently, the feeling of painting on the picture is really what makes editing fun for me. Like it, it literally feels like so much more of a creative process rather than adjusting some sliders and maybe like put on a preset or whatever right so and this is how actually your images get that very unique organic feel to it as well um, where it's something that only you can really like you know recreate and reproduce also here obviously the eye area um, I think this is good for now and then so let's turn the mask on and off and then let's see what this did really not much but you can definitely see how it lifted the shadows up there also gonna give it a little more exposure just to make it pops 
a little more and the contrast always goes up as well when I do those adjustments. Okay, um, maybe even some brightness and highlights. Okay, so let's check out the before and after. Once again, you know, this is the very, very first basic layer of how I'm just gonna separate the birds from the background. And we're gonna take care of the background in a little bit, okay? Um, we're gonna do the next layer. So I like to do multiple layers. Um, for me, that's very important because so that I stay very, very organized. I'm gonna call this um, just, uh, I'm gonna call this bird details, okay? So let's go into the bird details in here. This is where I'm gonna bump up the exposure. Once again, a little bit the shadows, definitely the brightness. Instead of having kind of a soft, large brush, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it much, much smaller. Uh, the flow can stay at two because I'm actually using pen pressure, as you can see here. So when, so that when you're using a pen, like I do, um, you don't really have to worry about the flow or whatever. It's literally just like the pressure that you put on the pen, which gives it an even more natural feeling of like editing, which is why I like this so much. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, and let's just really, really focus. And you can see the eye of this bird is not 100% in focus. I think the Fujifilm picked up more on like the feathers here. And um, so we're definitely gonna work on that and make it at least look like it wasn't focus. You know, we can work with some like clarity, sharpening and whatever, um, but that's gonna be the next step. So let's once again, just see where all the natural light is coming. I love how this bird has this little like spot here, like this little, spotlight in his eye and this one yeah you can kind of like see the eye as well so that's definitely something i like to start with and just to like really 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 elevate that you know and then once again i'm going to press m so i can know where my mask is and then just really almost like putting on makeup on the bird you know like so even above and below the eye i like to just really give it a little extra and then you know just pretty much see where the feathers are and then here like these natural like lighter portions I'm just gonna elevate all of that um, okay of course the same goes for this little guy and then also you know see these little hairs here I think that's how the image you know here this is how the image really, really, really gains like a sense of like ultra sharpness, right? So, which is another thing that we're gonna go over in just a little bit. We're gonna sharpen all of these areas and especially the eye, what we're gonna sharpen. And there is some natural light coming here too. So definitely gonna use that as well. Um, and then let's zoom out. It's always good to like in between, just always like zoom out um, so you can actually see what you've been doing. If you think you've overdone it, always super easy, just decrease the overall capacity of the layer. Um, you know, super easy, but I actually like what we did here. And then I'm gonna add another one, another layer, which I'm gonna rename and I'm gonna call it Bird Sharp, Sharpening. Yeah, let's do Sharpening. Um, so I'm gonna select a bit of a bigger brush because it's not that big of a deal if we're also affecting some other areas. Um, and I'm gonna go into refine, definitely bumping up the sharpening a little bit. And then when it comes to my basic adjustments, I'm gonna go down and I'm also gonna add some clarity and a little bit of structure, okay? So that should help us really just find um, the eye section and also like where we have the feathers. And I'm gonna actually stay zoomed out a little bit just so we can see how it's affecting the overall image. So M again, show me my mask, so definitely eyes is like the section I want to put the most focus on so I'm gonna add some here I'm gonna add some there and then even like the feathers some sharpening there as well and then if we press M again and we can toggle on and off the mask we can see well we can barely see anything <laughs> there is not much that has happened um, at least we can't see it if we're like that far zoomed out but which might even be a good thing because obviously we don't want to overdo it. If you zoom in, you can really see how this is way over sharpened and over, um, yeah, super like too much clarity and everything. So I'm actually just going to decrease that. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of happy with what we got so far. Okay, so one thing, because we haven't 
work the colors at all at this point um, but one thing I mentioned in the beginning was how I do not really appreciate all the noise in the background you know I, I don't really mind it but you know for the demonstration purpose of this video let's just see how we can like get rid of it um, so this is like just been all these layers have really just been focusing on the bird um, and now we're gonna do the background okay so let's do a new layer I'm actually gonna do a gradient layer um, yeah but you know actually yeah, I'm just gonna literally drag it all the way down because I wanted I wanted to affect the entire image which is which it's uh, doing right now I want to try through the luma range to just select the background for the most part if it spills over once again to the birds or to um, the plant it's not gonna be a big deal because we can always get rid of it later let's press option M first you know so um, and then go into luma range so that way it shows us the black and white and now we can just drag this back and see what happens so this is not the result obviously I'm going for but once again it's not a big deal we can just really figure all this stuff out and then we can see obviously that it's affecting the birds it's affecting a lot of things we don't want it I'm gonna apply this and then beautifully um, when we're looking at the black and white we can just really see how the mask is affecting um, specific portions of the image I'm going to take the erase tool right here and it's probably going to ask me yes exactly to rasterize it let's do that and then you know you know because we don't want this to be on the birds in particular because when i'm going to do the denoising and the desharpening and everything for the background it's obviously we don't want that on the bird because the bird should be the center of attention and it should be just beautifully sharp and crisp so let's once again take our pen or eraser tool and let's just draw on these little birds Actually, I'm gonna do the flow maybe to like 60 or something so that it's a bit of a smoother transition rather than just like, um, yeah, like a super harsh edge. Um, but yeah, so that's okay. Once again, it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect. You know, it's totally fine. If there's some stuff that's like, you know, a little over the edge or whatever. Um, I'm gonna do the same actually here, you know, just like nothing crazy especially one of the really just focus on the center because it can look a little weird when it comes like to the where the edges are where it's transitioning to the background and we want the background to be super soft and nice so let's not do that all right um so now all the white is where the mask is going to be applied to um, so let's do option M again and then maybe press M so you can see the mask in red and yeah let's just see if we can actually get rid of most of the noise here so the way I like to start this out obviously is I'm gonna go into refine and I'm gonna the sharpening is already all the way down to zero and the noise reduction I'm gonna all, do all the way up all right and I'm also gonna do the details all the way up so um, because once again we can always just go back into our layer section and just decrease the overall opacity of that layer. Also just for organization, I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call it background soft. So this is our background soft clarity. I'm gonna do all the way down and structure also I'm gonna do all the way down, okay? Because once again, I rather just deal with the overall opacity and I like to see a strong before and after effect right away. So we can see already Toggling this on and off, it's already making like a pretty drastic difference. Let's just check out the background here. If we zoom in, on, very, very like much, much softer, no noise, nothing. And then on, obviously, day and night difference. The only issue I have here, obviously, it's also once again affecting the, um, because the mask wasn't super <laughs> accurate. So it's affecting some portions where I don't like to have it. I actually don't mind it when it's like on the outside feathers of the bird. I think it gives, if, if anything, it just gives it more of a 3D uh, pop. But certainly some areas it looks kind of funny. So that's why once again, I'm um, just gonna do M, take the eraser tool, and then just like, you know, especially for those kind of things, I don't want it there. All the stuff where I want it to be just super sharp and in focus, I'm gonna just take take it all away um, those feathers no need for it there definitely not the eye section that we just sharpened actually so we don't want to reverse the, that effect um, here I don't like that either um, 
But once again, here on the outside feathers, really not a big deal, in my opinion. And also, I don't think it looks bad on like the, the leaves and stuff. I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And then we have the background here. We can actually just do some something else with it. See if we can like decrease the overall exposure, maybe just slightly, just to have, you know, a little more of a contrast, maybe the overall brightness. But also, I don't want to overdo it because um, especially with those edges, it can start looking kind of funny. And since the mask isn't like 100% accurate, I'd rather just stay away from that. And you can see it actually happening here already where this is not softened and nothing. And uh, yeah, if I were to continue with like darkening the background, it could look kind of funny. So maybe that's actually something I'm gonna reverse. Um, yeah, and this is pretty much my general overall edit. Let's just check the before and after. So this is the before. And I love how Capture One does that with the slider. And this is the after. So definitely, in my opinion, looks much, much nicer. Um, you really feel like the bird's looking at you or <laughs> you can build a genuine connection with that animal. And then I also like the whole softness of the background. We got rid of the noise. And um, yeah, just looks pretty nice. And then when it comes to colors, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, I might just do a separate video on the whole aspect of colors. For this video, I'm gonna stick with this, just the basic adjustments. What I do like to do just for a quick and simple edit is I like to go into the colors tab, but this is something you know reserved for Fujifilm. And you can actually see, I already selected the uh, Astia Soft because I've been looking at the pictures before. It's actually kind of funny. I just noticed that now. <laughs> but uh, this would be the standard image without a Fujifilm look applied to it. And my favorite, look from all of them is actually the Astia Soft. It's this one. It really just gives it a little bit of a natural, more contrasty, punchy kind of look. A lot of people like the classic chrome. I personally have never been a fan of it. I don't know. Um, just not my style. Um, Astia Soft is what I usually go with. And then once again, I do love some vignetting. Um, give it a little bit of a more retro feel. I sometimes I add some noise, but we actually we just got rid of that. So for wildlife stuff, um, yeah, I tend to not do that. Um, and yeah, before and after, very simple uh, edit. And um, yeah, and then let's actually see what else we got here because I wanted to at least show you like two pictures. So this is cool. Um, so this is once again, some really like classic, I wanna say animal portrait kind of editing that I'm doing right now. So let's just stick with the original aspect ratio. Just go way in here. Um, because this is kind of a weird, kind of a weird crop actually. And yeah, later on I would definitely get rid of this, all these branches here. Uh, actually all of them. I probably imported into Photoshop and just do some like content aware filling or whatever it's called. Um, I don't even know if that's the right term in English. Um, I'm translating everything in my head from German to English right now. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to focus on removing the branches. Obviously that's um, something for another video. The overall approach is going to be very similar. I'm just going to start with the overall global adjustments. It's funny, I've actually already done some uh, adjustments here for the exposure and everything. Um, you know, we could just like remove all of them, honestly, just to start, really start from scratch. Uh, but what I, for this photo, what's pretty apparent to me is that I got to lift the shadows a little bit. Obviously, there's not nothing much exciting going on in the background. Just a white plain background, but um, we are gonna see if we can do something interesting with that later. Um, maybe we'll just leave it, but let's see. Um, also, obviously, going up with the contrast a little bit, maybe even some overall exposure and brightness. Saturation, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, I wanna see, maybe the whites, I'll just reduce them a little bit. And then I do like some like strong blacks, so I'm gonna take those down a little bit. Uh, and then, yeah, here we are at the Luma. We can definitely see here, yeah, we have a <laughs> wall of whites here and it's even a little bit overexposed. So maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna see if I can just get them down a little, a little bit and then just for the, so that we get a little bit of a washed out look. I'm actually gonna lift the blacks a little. We can look into the before and after. Once again, not much has happened so far. Okay, so this is just my very, very basic overall global adjustments. Actually, I'm gonna add some contrast in that as well and then Let's see, what have we done with the color? Okay, we're back on Astia Soft, I like that. 
um, that was the original and then I'm just gonna go with this one before jumping into our adjustments and then once again just like the other photo we're gonna work with a lot of layers so this is gonna be renamed for bird overall I'm just gonna name it a little different but it's just you know in my head I know what I'm talking about and I know what this layer means and if I ever want to double check I just toggle it on and off and that way uh, even easier definitely gonna lift the shadows lift the brightness and exposure gonna once again start off with a pretty big brush maybe a little smaller and just gonna start brushing all the areas where I want to be that I want to be um, lifted okay so the eye we're gonna take care of the eye and it's in a whole separate layer because that's actually something I really 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 want to elevate um, but also what I love about this is like how the feathers are all kind of like white and dark and light and dark and I think we can really really do some cool stuff with that here so just kind of like brushing down these feathers almost if I was like you know like um, what's the word like being very gentle to the animal like patting it or whatever you know <laughs> um, also here the cloth I like to put some focus on that because I think they're just impressive killing machine tools <laughs> Once again, wherever there is natural light coming, let's just add some. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's toggle on and off the mask. You can see definitely some stuff happening here. Um, this was before and this was after. Once again, just very, very subtle adjustments. Because um, if there's one thing I don't like, it's like over edits. So I always want to make it look very like nice and like special, but at the same time, not lose the sense that it's like you know a natural image and not doesn't look like you know AI generated or something. Okay, so I love I love this like natural kind of like light here in his eyes. So even I said I'm gonna do it with an, another layer. I still want to add just a little bit, and then also here on the mouth or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, really gonna work on my English vocabulary. I'm telling you guys. Okay. It's a schnabel in German, so just, just so you all know. <laughs> uh, okay, beautiful. And uh, yeah, toggle it on and off again. Beautiful. Um, so that's the basic layer. And actually, I feel like I want to just get a really, really big brush and just give it a little couple of like nice. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Okay, and just even a little more here. So whenever there's areas that are a bit darker and a bit brighter, like up here, I feel that just really gives it like a 3D look, which I really like. Um, cool. All right, next layer, guys. Um, now, once again, next one is going to be a little more detailed. So I'm going to up the exposure, shadows. I want the whites to pop as well. And then what I'm going to do, make it smaller, much smaller, actually. Um, zoom in and just really gonna do all the funny details now so this is how where I actually really feel like I'm painting and once again here with my uh, trackpad it's so nice and with the pen I can really just like feel like I'm you know back in high school and like painting images it really just feels like I'm a painter all right so let's just add some of that and here especially the eyes is what you want to focus on because that's what's gonna give the image like the power Actually, I feel like I can really do a lot more with the eye other than just like making it brighter. I think I actually want to make it almost like really golden and like just really like pop. So I'm going to do that in a separate layer. For now, what I'm doing with this one too though, is you see how you have all these like light feathers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw on those. I'm not going to worry about the brown feathers. And then even here some stuff. And that way I, I think it can really just make the bird look more interesting and just really elevate his or her beauty even more so. So um, I'm gonna do that here for sure. And let's actually toggle on the mask so we can see what we're drawing. And as you can see, you know, I really don't put too much pressure with my pen so that it's still like a very smooth transition and no like super weird hard edges. And that's like my approach 
my approach when it comes to editing pictures is just really, you know, take yourself some time, unless you obviously have a deadline to meet or whatever, and really just see each individual photo you took as an art piece that's worth putting some more additional time into in post-production. Sometimes you'll be surprised about the picture that you weren't so happy with in the first place. If you actually take the time and look at it, you know, a couple of times, not just once or twice, and look at it the next day too and feel like, okay, what can I do here to improve or to like elevate this photo? Okay, so I think this is kind of cool. Um, once again, just gonna toggle it on and off. And if you feel like you, you've been overdoing it, decrease the overall opacity. I think this is kind of nice actually. Also, I wanna definitely go up with the contrast on these areas. And yeah, also for the background, just gonna, even though this is something I like to do in the end, just gonna add a little bit of vignetting. Um, barely visible, barely, <laughs> barely visible because it's literally just like a white background. Um, actually, I'm gonna rename this. Let's once again stay organized. Um, the bird details. And then I do like this, but one thing I wanna do is I wanna make the eye pop even more. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more layer, gonna rename it eyes. And then I want it to be, that's why I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go into the white balance and make it super warm. And I'm gonna overdo this once again, but that's okay. Shadows up and brightness up um, and exposure and even saturation, okay. So, and I can find it, you know, nice thing about it is that I can always just go back, obviously once I draw on the mask and readjust all these sliders. Um, yeah, so you can see here in its eye um, how there is like the brown and the black is like separated and I'm just gonna try to f only focus on the brown, okay? So let's just see. Okay, so here you can already see. And this is like when I use a pen and I really just gently, gently do some like touch-ups here, you can see how you can really get a very smooth transition. And that's actually something where this pen is helping me like tremendously. And then wherever there is actual natural light coming here, I like to just do a little extra, you know, just a little extra. And then this is kind of nice here. So I'm actually gonna also use those feathers and up here almost like eyebrows, you know, to like just really make it even more noticeable. And then let's zoom out and see what we, we've done. Actually looks kind of cool. Let's toggle this on and off. Yeah, definitely makes a huge difference in my opinion, okay? Maybe we've overdone it a little bit. We can reduce it. And so now I think it's a really nice natural look. And maybe we can even Give it a little more here. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, cool, I like that. That's like, looks still natural, but it's definitely a native, uh, day and night difference. All right guys, so once again, this is the before, and now this is the after. All right, before and after. So um, I actually like how this turned out. Um, Actually, one last thing I would like to do, as I've mentioned, um, let's see if we can do anything interesting with the background. Once again, I'm just gonna make a mask that's literally gonna affect the entire thing. I could al also just do like right click and add a, like a, a mask that covers the entire image. Uh, for whatever reason, <laughs> I'm just doing a gradient that goes all the way down. Um, doesn't really make sense, but anyways, um, option M, gonna show you uh, the black and white, and then I am going into Luma range once again. And for this one, it should be much easier to separate the bird from the background because our background is obviously just plain white. And you can see here how it's just working so, so much better, okay? Um, yeah, I love this. Okay, so let's actually do that a little further. And then, it's, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's apply that. And then I'm still gonna just erase anything that is on the bird because I don't want to have anything on the bird affected by my adjustments. So this is looking good. Okay, you can see I've done, I've messed, I've messed this one up here a little bit, but I'm like, you know, for this video, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, option M, M, and you can see 
uh, yeah, how we pretty much isolated the background pretty well. Let's rename this and let's call it background. And yeah, actually I am not even sure what I want to do with it at this point because I feel like there's obviously not much structure, there's not much going on. I'm just going to drag down the highlights just to see if there's anything. But yeah, it's really nothing much. Um, but actually I do want to bring the highlights down a little bit. I'll bring the shadows down. So actually what I'm trying to do here, um, I'm not going to mess around too much with like the highlights or anything. Um, I just want to see if we can bring maybe some color in it. So maybe just make the sky a little more blue. Like that maybe. Might even be too much already, honestly. I'm not sure. And then even the brightness, I'm just going to decrease it a little bit. And you can see how it starts doing like funny things here around the edges already so not a huge fan of that and here you can see it as well um, let's just see if that's actually something I like or not. Um, yeah you know not so sure again that's one of those things where I would just kind of like leave it and then go back the uh, another day and see what I think what I think of it because sometimes the more I add it on one photo the more I feel like I lose a sort of like a sensibility to what's actually enhancing the image and what's just an additional adjustment just for the sake of it if that makes sense uh it's just for the sake of changing something you know but i kind of do like it when i decrease the overall opacity it just gives it a bit of a more of a yeah sky like look you know um so once again let's check out the before and after final review that's the before and here we have the after i really 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 love how the whole eye and like this whole area turned out and then once again in photoshop i would just remove all of that and make it even nicer maybe add even some more vignetting or, or whatever you know um this is yeah okay all right guys so this is it for this video uh i hope you were able to take something away with it for your own editing i hope this inspired you to go out take more pictures and actually spend some additional time also in front of your computer and seeing what you can actually do um, and how you can really bring your images to another level and um, yeah I think this was the other one that we've been looking at right yeah yeah this one's also cute <laughs> all right guys have a beautiful day beautiful week and keep on creating and keep on making pictures and uh, see you in the next video bye bye